Okay, so okay, hello everyone, welcome. I hope you can hear me. Okay, so basically today is our third number of class. So after completing this today's session, then we talk about that problem solving class. Okay. So now we'll start our class. Okay, so thank you. Okay, so let me share my screen. So now can you see my screen? Is it visible? Can you see my screen? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Okay, so now let's hear Okay, so basically today I talk about that, how we can easily calculating any indices from satellite imagery. So any kind of indices, it can be NDVI, it can be EVI, it can be SAVI, or any kind of indices, how we can easily calculate using Lancet or Sentinel image, both of image, how we can easily apply. I will show you that all of those things. So after completing this topic, I hope you can easily calculate any equation. It can be any kind of uh, equation, EVI equation, NDVI equation, NDWI equation, or any kind of other indices equation, you can easily calculate and also show the result. Okay. Then we talk about that filtering and displaying the satellite images, mainly Sentinel-2 satellite imagery, how we can easily filter. And then after that, how we can easily use the Sentinel-2 satellite imagery and monitor the NDWI and NDVI. Okay. As well as also talk about that thresholding technique, how we can easily applying the thresholding technique and extract the water body. We also talk about that. And we also talk about the time series chart. Okay, so basically previous class, I also discussed about that, uh, how we can easily calculate and uh, make the time series chart from ready-made data set. Okay, so in this time we talk about the unready-made data set, how we can easily calculate the time series chart from unready-made data set, such as I just make the NDVI map using Landsat and Sentinel. Just I put the equation and calculate the NDVI uh, and also NDWI or any other indices. After that, how we can easily make the time series chart for that? We also talk about that. How we can easily export any shape file from Google Earth Engine? We also talk about that. And how to add the gradient legend and also title on your map in Google Earth Engine. We can also add the legend on our map in Google Earth Engine also. I'll also show you that process. And how to calculate NDWI from Modis and Landsat data. So let's go on one by one. I also discuss about all of these things. So let me open my slide. Map in Google. So now I can easily identify about that. This type of color identify about that low soil assisted vegetation, and this kind identify about the high. So I'll do vegetation and your title, and this is the value about that. Okay, so this is the process to adding the legend. And if you want to add the title, suppose I just put the title on this map. So what can I do? So very easy, just write the code in here. So basically, we just uh, also show the map in Google Earth Engine platform also. But after downloading the TIP image, we can also make the proper map for our research paper or presentation using the Art Map or QGIS. So for that, just take a variable, suppose label, and I want to put at the user interface dot label, and put your title in here. Suppose I put here while just state hesitation. Okay, you can put any title and then further just put here map dot add simply copy paste here. Click on. So now this thing's also added in our map. So you can see now it also shows the title look like that and so add the legend look like that 
So this is the process to adding the title and legend on Google Earth Engine platform. You can see this is the map, this is the legend, and this is the title. Okay, so one map is okay if you have several layer maps, we can add them. So maps okay, suppose you have the several map or two map. So then we have to add the two lesion. Okay. Suppose uh, actually in this time in Google Earth Engine platform, you can add only for the one map at a one time. Suppose here you can see I just show the file adjusted map in map and also show about the lesion. When you want to show suppose other, suppose you want to show for NDVI, NDVI, suppose this map, I want to show the lesion. So for that I need to add the another color bar. Suppose as well as there's a lot of ways. Suppose you want to put at that one left side show out show the for show for the sabi map with the lesion, right side show about that sabi NDBI map with the lesion. So this is another our uh, online training program for that uh, user interface. There's a lot of things we can easily do for using the user interface. Basically, there's a lot of function is available for the user interface. Using this user interface, we can easily create. Suppose you can easily make that uh Two map one map is show about the left side with the legend another map show about that right side with the legend or you can also create the four panel suppose one panel show one map this panel shows another plan also bottom uh, left bottom right show the another map so the lot that's a lot of things we can easily do but when you want to randomly when you put that uh double legend you have to add suppose just uncheck it it show the one uh, map one legend then click on it it should an another legend so not only for that, suppose I add the uh, bar in the, um, it's a left side. If I want, I can also convert into the right side. Okay, suppose just, you can simply see the result. Um, you can see about the position. Suppose bottom left, I want to need the bottom right. So suppose bottom left, I add in, add a, 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 a lesion bar. And bottom right, I add the another lesion bar. Suppose just put at the right. Then it will be moved to the right right here. So you can easily add the two legend at the same time. So for this, simply copy the same code. Okay, then just simply put the right and left. Okay, right side show you the one legend, and left side show you that one legend about that. It's also possible to do that. In this time, you can see this legend showing the right side. In this time, you can also add another legend in the left side. Then we can get the two legend. So we talk about the land use land cover classification about that. Suppose you want to find out that, uh, suppose a specific crop, what is the condition for the NDVI or a specific land use land cover classification, what is the condition about that, any other indices, then we can easily get it no problem. Actually, there is the no limitation about the analysis. Okay. So for that, when you explore more things, you can easily understand there is no limit for analysis. Okay, so, okay, so, okay, so anyone, any question about that? Or let me check my topic. Is it okay? okay, okay, so, so all of code, which I already show you in the JavaScript for making the NDVA map or any WI map or calculation, any, all of things we can easily do in the python just we have to change the some syntax about the python then it will work suppose i just simply imported the library import first of all import ge map package then import art engine package click the one we done for the put here ge dot authenticate mainly connecting
So now it's connecting with my Gmail, which I used to making the Google Art Engine for editor. So in this time, I want to use it. Suppose just put here. Continue. But the just just continue. Now it's okay. Then further, we are just put here the initialize and put here the project name. So then it will be ready for work for our engine platform. So ee dot paste here. Uh, I just put this name. Suppose I take a variable name. It's it, suppose data data set. So now this data set I want to filter. Suppose I take the filter name is that AOI. I call this data set data set. I want to filter it. How I can filter art engine dot filter dot equal what's equal what I just put here. I get the information from here. The data set. Yeah, this is the data set. Here you can see about the table schema. Filling on the table schema. And here you can see the different name about that. So I want to uh, admin one name. String in a name of administrator and you need the first level. It is second level. Okay, so basically it's the second level. Admin name to yeah. So you can see name of the admission unit at the second level. So basically this second level is the district. Okay, so just I simply copy admin name to and further paste here. And then just comma and then put here the distinct as uh, suppose I put here the suppose okay. So now Dhaka boundary is created the AOI. So I want to display this thing. So just put here map dot map dot add player and my it's it's a AOI. So just I put the AOI map dot add layer and then put the map dot center object AOI 10. Okay, so now it will be work. And I want to show the map. In this time, you can see there is no map. So for adding this map, I just try to okay run the code and check what happened. What is the problem? Can facing and check. It show that this type of problem. Okay. Map is not defined. In, okay. So I need to create the map about that. So just I take a variable suppose map equal g e g e map or map further these things I want to define so now let's check what happened it will be wrong or not so now you can see here it shows that Haka is tick. So this is the process for working with that. Not only for that, any kind of data set you can easily convert into the Python. You can see it show the result. That was I need another district. I put the district name. Suppose select click on. So now it show about that select district. So now any kind of data set for NDVI or any WI or other things, you can easily show and visualize about these things. And for the using of uh, Python, that we can also get some other benefit. Okay. So okay, I hope you can easily get this idea how it will work. Okay. okay. So anyone any question? Polyam and uh, GMAP uh, is the same. Okay, Polyam is uh, is another kind of package. Polyam and GMAP, two things we are used only for that display the map. Okay, but uh, GMAP is more advanced than Polyam. Okay. okay, I hope you can get this idea. So we, uh, instead of the Polyam, we are just using the GMAP. GMAP is more advanced than Polyam. Because GMAP is also um, work for the Google Earth Engine. Okay, Folium is only work for that uh, web mapping, these type of things of the Folium. But GMAP is more developed than Folium. Okay, so any, any problem or any question?
Okay. Any problem? Okay, if there is no problem, then position will be in, in here and I will send you all of recorded class and also practice code. Okay, so you also try to check it and tomorrow, inshallah, at the same time, we will meet and discuss the further topic. Thank you for joining. Have a good night. Thank you. Okay.